All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the Christmas celebration is finally here on Global. So in today's video, we're gonna check out everything that Akatsuki and Bandai has in store for us for this campaign. And uh, without further ado, let's pop into the news here and see what's going on. Okay, so uh, here we go. Snowy Miracle, Merry Christmas campaign. It looks like the same image as the JP campaign. And it says, Snowy Miracle, Merry Christmas campaign is on, various Christmas events are here. Come obtain awesome rewards including Dragon Stones and Christmas Candy Cane, do login bonuses and missions, characters who are guaranteed to level up super attacks can also be recruited, which is the uh, Santa, Kid Gohan, and Icarus. On top of that, new SSR Super Saiyan Gohan youth who can be token awakened into an LR will show up in the uh, Divine, Divine Dragon Carnival. They're usually called Rising Dragon Carnival. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why they changed the name, but um, I don't think it's going to be any different from like the regular Double Rates banners, except for the fact that we do get a guaranteed, um, you know, Kai with each multi, right? And uh, what else we have here? Uh, Extreme Z Battle, Extreme Z Area, and also new Explosive Chain Battle. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, so first things first, we have a login bonus. We also have some special missions. We have a Dragonstone Steel with a Blue Stone Pack. Okay, so I thought this was going to be a Pilaf's Trove thing, but apparently not, which is totally fine. And uh, we also have a Christmas Select Dokkan Festival. This is the Red Dragonstone, which we should be getting for just logging in. And as you can see, some units we can we can buy with the, with the stone. Uh, we got the STR Gogeta, we got Ingenemba, Kale and Khalifla, who are both getting their token awakenings as well. Oh, sorry, uh, Extreme Z awakenings, finally. And we also have a uh, special Dokkan Fest, basically the Blue Dragonstone selection, where we can probably get like all the 70% leads as well as some other units. We'll see. Uh, here's the Divine Dragon Carnival. I think it's just the same thing as the Rising Dragon Carnival, so double rates, featured LR, and also uh, we get a Kai for each multi, and that should be it. Unless there's some other special features to this banner that we don't know about. We'll have to see once the banner drops, but I think it's just going to be, you know, like last year's banner with the Super Saiyan um, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, right? Where it's this guy and then a bunch of other, like, random non Dokkan Fest units. Probably an overall really, let's be honest, pretty trash, like, featured pool. But all we really care about is the featured Gohan, and for the purposes of pulling him, these banners are actually you know, pretty good since it's double rates, which means that instead of the average like 0.4% chance to pull a legendary summon LR or like a featured LR, it's going to be about 0.8, a little bit higher than 0.8 actually. So rates are going to be good for him, I mean, relatively speaking, and you can also you know have a chance to pull some unfeatured LRs like UI Goku, uh, Tech Broly, Kale and Khalifla, so on and so forth. All right, so, oh, by the way, that's dropping in about like two hours, less than two hours, like an hour and a half from now. So if you guys want to see me summon for them as soon as they drop, then make sure to tune into the stream. I'll be live probably about 30 minutes to 45 minutes before the banner actually comes out. So uh, check it out. And we also have a Elder Kai banner. We have the Extreme Z battle for Kale and Khalifla dropping at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it would be, ooh, it's gonna be 1.30 a.m. for me, Eastern Standard Time. And I'll try to stream this as well. I'm not sure if I have the time, but uh, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know probably in the actual summoning stream we do for Gohan. And uh, we also have a new Extreme Z area for the three free to play, um, you know, girls. We got Ri Brienne, we got uh, Kakunza as well as Rosie. And that's also dropping at the same time as Killing Khalifla. We have a new Explosive Chain Battle, which is also coming out uh, at the same time versus Angel Golden Frieza. Okay, so. Uh, if I remember correctly, the weakness or the like effective uh, units are basically just University 11 characters like Jiren, Topo, Dispo, so on and so forth. So it's kind of weird, honestly. It's kind of weird that we're getting this right now since we're not getting Jiren. Um, unless I'm remembering wrong, I'm pretty sure it's Angel, Golden, Frieza. Yeah, that's weak against Jiren and Topo and Dispo and you know, whichever other 11, University 11 characters we have, which is not a lot. Um, so yeah, I thought they were going to hold off on this to be honest, but I guess that's also dropping now, even though there's no Jiren or EZAs for Topo and Dispo or the free-to-play 
casserole, um, the, the Fizz casserole card from the Universe 11 story event. Kind of weird. Anyways, I got the uh, uh, Gohan event available every single day. I'm assuming that we'll need the Dokken Awakening medals here to awaken the tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. We also have the return of the uh, Bojack movie story event available every day, the Broly movie event, and this one, yo, this is one that a lot of people have been waiting for, man, for quite some time, because you need some medals here to awaken the Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku, right? And a lot of people pulled him in the past couple of months, and it's been a long time since this event's returned to Global, so uh, yeah, now anybody that has been holding on to the Goku waiting to awaken him, you guys can finally do it. So uh, enjoy that, he's a monster, one of my favorite units in the game, for sure. We also have the Saiyan Trio Led by Fate story event coming back as well. And uh, also the reopening of a challenge event, the uh, Extreme Z area for the free to play Kid Saiyans. And from there we have triple uh, EXP, or sorry, triple uh, success rate for training, and also triple rank EXP. And also this, uh, this banner for the Blue Boys is still on until the 31st. And oh, all this other stuff is actually from the prelude um, campaign, the, the, you know what, let's just not talk about it, it was terrible, it was so bad. So that is the Christmas campaign guys, I was kind of hoping for one more thing, which was the new stages for, um, what do you call it, for Super Battle Road, we still need 10 more category stages, right, As long, along with the Tech, LR, Goku, and Gohan, but looks like we're not getting that right now, not a huge deal, I'm not too upset about it, um, hopefully for... New Year's we get that then. And of course, for New Year's, we are going to be getting the Step Up banner. It's still going to happen. I mean, I guess it's not guaranteed, but it's happened for a couple of years now. I'd be shocked if it didn't happen. So still keep that in mind while when you're deciding whether or not you want to summon for the Gohan, because I still think that the best value for your stones is the New Year's Step Up banner. All right. Um, but that's it, guys. That is the campaign. Let me take a quick look at the, take a quick look at the special missions. Let's see what those look like. Uh, how many stones? It usually says here. It's not saying how many stones we get, which is not a great sign. Okay, let me just count it manually. Okay, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 stones here, it looks like. And then, oh, there's two parts. At least through the missions. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, there's at least two parts of the missions. Part one will give you 12 stones here. We get one stone every day for the daily, which is, you know, nothing special. Um, but I guess, yeah, it's going to be at least two parts for missions. And then there's the login bonus. We get uh, the special Vegeta's family Christmas wallpaper. I really like that one. I think it's better than the Goku's family one, to be honest. We also have the, the Red Dragon Stone, as well as one copy of the uh, Kid Gohan Icarus Kai. And we're getting one stone today. Okay, so I was kind of hoping we would get, like... You know, like 10 stones of the first login or something like that, but it, it is what it is. Alright, and on Christmas, do we get any special stone? We get Okay, so we get two stones for the 23rd, two stones for Christmas Eve, and that's it. I mean, we get some candy canes, which is really good. Um, yeah, I mean, standard login bonus. I was kind of hoping for something special, but what can you do? And there's also the uh, Christmas Select Dokkan Festival with the Red Dragonstone. And it looks like it's the same as last time. Yeah, it looks exactly the same as the last Red Stone uh, selection. So, um, yeah, take your pick. I mean, there's a lot of good options. I might make a video about it, but we're not going to go over that right now. Uh, Kale and Khalifa, at the very least now, have Extreme Z Awakenings, right? Last time they were available here too, but without Extreme Z Awakenings. And it felt like they were just teasing us, you know? But now, they finally have their EZAs, or they're about to, in a couple hours, so that's awesome. And that looks like it's it. Um, yeah, so it's still too early for us to see what the Dragonstone sales look like. I'm assuming they're going to be standard, like, a couple 32, a couple of 91, maybe a 12 and a 6. We'll see. Probably nothing crazy. Maybe they'll give us, like, one of those, like, 77 stone packs, or, like, a couple of those 77 stone packs, because that deal is actually pretty good a lot of the times, but we'll see. Um, there's not much else to say guys. I will be live in about an hour and a half, okay, for the uh, summons. Actually, like I said, a little bit less, probably like an hour and um, 
15 hour out maybe an hour or so depending on you know how fast i can eat and uh, i'll see you guys over there so uh, if you guys can make it make sure to tune in i know there's gonna be quite a few people streaming so you got your picks you got your options if you guys like somebody else better that's cool but just giving you the option to watch my stream as well and if you guys can't watch it that's okay too we will be posting as a video after so it's all good and uh yeah guys that is today's video thank you so much for watching hope you guys are excited for the christmas celebration it is at the very least quite a bit better than the prelude i'm not gonna say it's amazing but there's a uh, a couple things to do now which is always nice and as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.